Uh, how you doing? This is pretty cool. Good. It's super cool. Yes. <laughs> a flurkin on the spear. A giant flicking flurkin. That's very awesome. A giant flurkin. Yes. Okay, let's do a quick State of the Union of the Marvel Cinematic okay. Universe because uh, there's a lot of energy surrounding Marvel. There's yeah. a lot of headlines, things going on, things that might be true, things that are, may not be true. Um, what can you say? <laughs> trying to get you to summarize this in a soundbite yeah. uh, about the direction of the MCU and kind of your vision going forward. Is there anything you want to clarify? The Marvels comes out on Friday, finale of Loki on Thursday. Uh -huh. Those are two giant things. Those are two giant Those things. are two giant things that I like to look far, far ahead, which we can't talk about, and what's immediate. And, you know, those two projects that are being unveiled to the fans within, within two days represents about five years of work of about thousands and thousands of people. It, it's to true. me, that's the focus. My, my favorite thing you always say, you're like, some people like to talk, me, not so much. That's true too. <laughs> the final trailer came out for the Marvels and it kind of threw the gauntlet. We see Tessa Thompson, we see another character kind of walk by and everyone's yes. going, who, is, who it? is it? Who is it? What's the top theory? Um, okay, my, my, my safety school is that it's, I think it might be Maria, but my Yale or Harvard is that it's Storm. I've never heard that. Safety school or Yale or Harvard. That's interesting. Yeah, like you know when you're applying for colleges and yes. you're like, I, I think yes. I think it's probably this, but if it's this, I'm gonna lose my mind, but I don't wanna yes. you know, it's I did not apply to Yale or Harvard. I, I didn't even okay. I did not either. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> but given that, what can you say about the Marvel's impact on the future of the MCU, the next phase? I mean everything is a building block in the broader story. That's just part of the fun. But really, it's the fun of the movie. The movie has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And what Nia has worked on for so long, for so hard, with Brie and uh, with uh, Tiana and with Amon especially, um, represents, again, as I said, represents years of very hard work. And it's this experience and the fun of this movie that is what I want people focused on. I remember uh, being in Hall H a couple years ago, not the one I hosted, it was the year before that, yes. um, where you said all of these, you had all these announcements and then you're like, and we can't even talk about mutants yet, but we will eventually. And now we're at a point where Kamala, we know, is one of the first times we hear the word mutant in yeah. the MCU. Yeah. So I know you don't show your cards, but I know how much you love the freaking X-Men. Is there anything you can say about how delicate that is to you and kind of what the what the plan is? When are we gonna hear something? I don't know if it's delicate. I, it's super exciting, but the X-Men are as solid and rich and great a concept and characters as exist. Uh, the return of the animated series next year, which we're very excited about. Yes. And I saw some uh, some new final episodes today, which really bring you back to that, to that core of who the X-Men are and that soap opera that those characters represent. And then in and that in live action, people will see, perhaps soon. Yeah, we, we've had a lot of new characters enter the fold since Endgame. Um, we could sit here for hours and talk about every single one, but the, look, you know what? Thank you it. for giving me that yes. exclusive. Yes. Oh my God, Kevin, <laughs> I knew I was your favorite. Um, I'm just going to pick one out of a hat though. Okay. Harry Styles, we saw him in the Eternals. It's been two years. Have you guys had any more talks? Are we going to see him pop up again soon? He's excited. We're excited. Uh, we will see. You introduce a lot of new characters in a lot of movies and a lot of tags. Yes. Yes. Where do the tag folk reappear? That's Where a good do, question. Yes, and then there's this Taylor Swift as Dazzler rumor going right, around. There's right. just so much. A lot of musicians. A lot of musicians. Yes. I was gonna say we need a Marvel musical, but we actually got one. Rogers the musical. We got Rogers yes. the musical, so yes. never mind. <laughs> okay, one specific thing I want to ask you that was in the headlines is this, this idea that um, some fallen Avengers could make their return. Anything you can say about that? I know this answer. No. Is that the answer? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fallen Avengers returning. Uh, is that a new, I have not, literally, I've not even seen that. Is that new rumors? Yeah, it was like one of the things that were talked about at this retreat were Scarlett Johansson and Robert Downey Jr. possibly returning at some point. We did not discuss that at the retreat, is the truth. Okay. We're doing a project with Scarlett. I love Robert. He's a part of the family. Uh, but in terms of returning, we'll have to see. Okay, my final question for you. What's up with the Star Wars movie? Is it happening? I know that's like... Is it happening? Any Star Wars movie? Yours. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good seeing you. Good to see you. Good.